Good morning, good day, and good evening, everybody. I'm Sir Fox, and welcome back to my channel, Sir Fox Gaming. I'm standing here in low caress by the bonfire and with my snake friend, Mr. Bite a lot, because this time I made 1250 low caress runs in one day. It took me almost 11 hours to do all these runs, and all these runs were done on player 7 on my hardcore sorceress. The mods I'm using is Lamoggy and D2R filter through D2R launcher. That's all you need to know, so let's get into the video, and as always, remember to hit that stupid ass like button. Enjoy the video, guys. The very first item came in at run 56, and it was a small charm, and this one is pretty neat with all resistances full. 28 runs later, at run 84, I found yet another small charm, and this one is pretty neat also with 3 to maximum damage, 17 to attack rating, and 6 to life. But it's a shame it doesn't have more life, because that would have made this one a lot better. The first rune drop of this video came in at run 105, and it was a Mal rune. 75 runs later, a very nice rune dropped out of one of the super chests, and this time it was a Ist rune. The lowest rune I will showcase in this video came in at run 208, and it was a Lem rune. My favorite drop of this whole video came in at run 214, this time it was a duel, and this one had 15 increased attack speed and fire resist 25. If you are wondering why I like this drop so much, it is because that this item is very good to use in Andariel's Visage for mercenaries because Andariel's Wizards give minus to fire resistance and this one increases the mercenaries attack speed and equals out the fire resistance. At run 222 I found yet another nice small charm. I identified this in the safety of the town and it was yet another all resistances for small charm. The first skiller drop of the 1250 runs came in at run 257. And look at this guys, even though I have a loot filter, some of the items can still be very hard to see, so I had a bit of, of a struggle to see this grand charm. But I got it and it turned out to be 1-2 traps. That's a very nice skiller. Only 3 runs later I found yet another grand charm, and this one turned out to be a cold skiller, and that is a very, very nice drop. And let's continue the video with yet another grand charm, because at run 327 I found this 1 to bow and crossbow skills, and this one had 33% extra gold from monsters. It took 413 runs to get my first high rune, and here it is, baby. It was a big rune from the third super chest in my route, so that was so nice to see after 400 runs. At run 440, I found yet another grand charm, and let's see what this one turned out to be. It was a 1 to summoning skills for the druid with 24 extra gold from monsters. With now over 500 runs completed, I got yet another rune, and this time it was a pull rune. If one pull rune isn't enough for you, I found yet another one at run 569. At run 633, I found a very nice grand charm. This one turned out to be one to war cries, and it had a staggering 34 to life. I found a decent amount of skillers during these 1250 runs, and that's pretty good because I need the skillers because this is hardcore, and I don't have many skillers yet for hardcore. This one turned out to be a 1 to poison and bone skills, and it had 1 to maximum damage as well. Do you feel lucky, punk? Because at run 681, I found yet another small charm, and this one turned out to be a 7% better chance of getting magic items, and that's nice because I need a lot of these for filling up my hardcore characters. 
Only nine runs later, a very, very good small charm drop. This one turned out to be a lightning resist 11% and 6% better chance of getting magic items. If this one had hit 7%, this would have been godly good. With now over 700 runs completed, I want to show you some runes once again. This one, I couldn't see what it was at first and that's why the D2R loot filter is so nice to have. Because this one turned out to be a Ist rune. After that Ist rune drop, I got yet another rune at run 787. This time it was a Gull rune. At run 803, I found the third pull rune of this video. It took me 115 runs to get the next item and this one turned out to be a Lem rune. This was the point of uh, the day where it started to get very, very hard because I had been making these runs non-stop for many, many hours at this point. But I ain't no quitter, so I just continued the grind and at run 922, yet another Grand Charm dropped. This one turned out to be a martial arts skiller. And the thing with Diablo is that if you keep going long enough and doing enough runs, you will be rewarded because at run 974, I found yet another Bex rune. Only 8 runs later, I found yet another rune. Unfortunately, it was just a limb rune. The remaining 250 runs were so tough to do because I didn't really find anything, but I did find this Grand Charm and it turned out to be a Geet's Fortune, but with the loot filter it doesn't show as unique, but it shows in red instead. But as you can see, it turned out to be a Geet's Fortune with 36% better chance of getting magic items. The rune drops were a bit disappointing compared to the last video I did, but I did manage to get 3 limb runes, 3 pull runes, 1 mal rune, 2 ist runes, 1 gold rune, and 2 vex runes. The last time I did this, I did 1000 runs in one day, and that day I found 7 high runes, so only finding 2 vex runes on this day with 1250 runs were a bit disappointing to me. But that's just the way it is with Diablo 2 Resurrected. Sometimes you find a lot of good stuff and sometimes you get less. That's the thing I like so much about Local Rest is that you not only find the runes but you can get some very nice jewels and charms as well. My goal is to do 1500 runs in a day but I will show that in another video. I hope you like this video guys and thank you very much for watching. Until next time, take care and bye bye.